What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2020 Tops Tribute Baseball just sold out. It is a six-box case break. Pick your team's number nine on our website. Here you go. Boom. Last Bob Mojo's going to Derek. We took the Twins. It actually got, like, the last four teams remaining. Here you go. Tribute. And again, after this, don't know what else we're going to break. Pretty much bring us to our last 30 minutes of the broadcast, so don't know how slow it's going to get after this. So I will leave jaspies.com personal breaks open for like 15, 20 minutes. So if anybody wants to do quick personals, I can do those. Uh, but at 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock, I am logging off. So there you go, guys. And again, this is the FYI. I believe Joe is uh, not coming in tomorrow, so I'll be filling in for him. And uh, Teddy will be filling in for me on Instagram. I believe Joe will be back Wednesday, maybe Thursday, one of those two days. I believe he just wanted to take a day off to, to rest a little bit. Diane fell asleep. However, I caught up and I'm the man. <laughs> Congratulations, man. That was crazy. Diane, when it is your day, it is your day. I think Tony says she texted you. Also, I think uh, X Line was a big Chiefs fan, is interested in your helmet. Josh X Line, I believe. So if you're willing to sell that, maybe you guys can uh, trade uh, information, emails, stuff like that, so that way you guys can work out a deal. But we'll still probably ship it to you. All right, good luck. Remember, all base cards ship as well, guys. Yeah, it was her day today. Ozzy Alves to ninety nine. And out of the basketball mix, you got a nice KD autograph, too. Alright, good luck, guys. First pit. Dander Bogot, Moogie Betts. 38 out of 150. We got a triple relic, Sammy Sosa, 32 out of 99. Cubs going to Jeremy. And we got for the Houston Astros, Lance McCullers Jr. to 150. Houston Astros, Rich with that one. We got Buster Posey stamp of approval, 99 out of 99. Giants going to Derek. And we got a Max Muncie little mirror, 52 out of 99 for the Dodgers. Dodgers going to Derek. Uh, was that his number? It was 32, yeah. 
And out of 25, Bobby Bradley. Pulling a lot of him today. Cleveland. Going to Joseph. Alright, next box. Next one. base Lou Gehrig got a 50 um well we just started so I don't think I pulled any of those two just yet so you're not like too far behind or anything this is just our second box all right and then this was Gavin Lux to 450 Next one we got is Corey Seager to 150. Oh man, the last A's break, right? It was crazy. CMZ the beast. I mean, it's always still going to be the older players like Jordan, LeBron, Kobe, and them. Their value is never going to go down. But if you're thinking of like rookies right now in this draft classes in these last couple years, well, there's a lot of them obviously. But they're just a little pricey to start off now. 23 out of 99. Oh, baseball player. Sorry, I think I said basketball. Uh, baseball player, yeah, Juan Soto's a big one. I think, um, I think Wander Franco, even though he still hasn't proved himself in the MLB just yet, he sells for crazy, and people love him. Jason Dominguez is a big one that people are wanting to chase. 14 out of 15. That is Roger Clemens' Boston Red Sox edition. There you go. Red Sox. There you go, Fred. But, of course, Trout and everybody else, that's already made it. 
sells pretty well. Another one there for you, Fred Chris Sale. And we got Fernando Tatis Jr. He's a great ball player as well, too, Fernando. Out of 99. Padres. It's going Ryan. And Bobby Bradley. We're just pulling a lot of Bobby Bradleys today. Acuna, actually, his stuff is just going up like crazy. Acuna is a big one right now. There you go. Joseph with the Bobby Bradley tracker. Honestly, AJ, I know, like, obviously, we're, with all this crisis going on, a lot of people out of jobs, but the prices for product, cards, is, like, at all-time high right now. I, I, I don't know why. And just a little FYI, AJ, Big Hit Express, probably this Friday. And we might do packs, hit packs, but it's going to be Big Hit Express for sure first. So just be ready, guys. I looked at the I looked at some of these cards that we're gonna be putting in there. <sighs> Fire. Fire. Me and Nick have been acquiring cards these last like couple weeks, months, and we are ready to unveil it. And for any hockey fans out there too, there will be hockey. And maybe it's own hockey repack product as well. Not sure when hit packs will be, but Big Hit Express might be on Friday. Uh, Big Hit Express is the random teams one. And there's going to be some monster, monster hits in those. Javier buys Anthony Rizzo to 150. But just stay tuned though, guys. I think we will do hit packs too as well, but. Honestly, AJ, you might want to save it. I don't think there's any crazy releases coming out these next couple weeks, so. Andy Pettit. We actually have an autograph, and it's Miguel Cabrera, 35 out of 50. Detroit Tigers, Eric. Man, you don't really see too many Miguel Cabreras out there. Oh, the hit packs are... I think we do a really good job with hit packs with the value in there for sure. And I, I think people love it because they're guaranteed something. But I think people understand Big Hit Express. We haven't done one in a while, so people kind of forgot about them. But there are some crazy, crazy hits that are going to be going down in there. I'll tell you that. Tom Seaver to 99. And we got Noah Syndergaard. Definitely. I understand, AJ. I mean, if, if we did these as hit packs, though, they'd be very pricey, though. That's the thing. These Big Hit Express ones are the ones where we have thousands of dollars worth of cards in there. Instead of just, like, a four or $500 card. You know? Uh, Matthew, we, we do our own buyback product, and we call it the Big Hit Express. So it's usually multi-sport. Max Muncy. 
out of 50 for the Dodgers. So we just call it the Big Hit Express. And I believe this is Big Hit Express number four, I believe it's going to be, or three. Wow, Gavin Lux to 199. A lot of Dodgers so far. Derek. It just depends, Matt. Um, this initial run's going to be very, very good, so I don't know how much it is, but it's not the priciest spot price because I believe the way it is. Wow, Roger Clemens, Red Sox, 4 out of 10. Boston going to Fred. Damn, great break. Um, it just depends. I think the way we configure it, it's like multiple cases of eight cards per case, one card per box. So it's not the priciest ones, but there are some crazy hits and there's a handful of cases we usually make, but just stay tuned guys. I mean, I'm sure you guys will see it as pre-orders very soon. I, I heard the inside scoop and maybe this Friday, but obviously that just depends if we have all of our stuff ready to roll by then, but um, I, I'm thinking Friday is going to be it, guys. I'm sure we'll have pre-order soon. Fanatics jersey was really cool. Our last initial run took a little while to 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 fill up, but only just because we made it probably the biggest Fanatics jersey run we made in like our career. <laughs> Uh, this might be our last break of the night. I'm not too sure. I don't think anything else is super close to filling. Maybe helmets. Tyler's been trying to push all day. Maybe we can do like a helmet break. That doesn't take too long. I mean, I have some orders to go through, but I don't think it's anything, like, super crazy. Yeah, maybe maybe helmets would be a nice way to end it off. We're at 12 left. If you guys want to do helmets. Out of 50, Chris Bryant. Okay, Out of 150, Cal Ripken Jr. CC Debathia to 150. Yankees. And Hank Aaron, 82 out of 99. And that's Milwaukee Brewers edition of Hank Aaron as well. Matthew with that one. Out of 99, AJ Puck. We got Brandon Rogers to 199. Uh, well, personals and uh, group breaks are always uh, shipped separately, if that's what you mean. And then we ship daily, so. And wow, Ricky Henderson. 29 out of 30. Man, Fred, you're having some great tribute breaks these last couple days.
Well, we just don't like to mix up our our uh, website stuff. So, I mean, like I said, we we ship everything out separately for accounting and numbers purposes. Even though it's the same company, it's uh, two separate websites, so two different, two separate everything. Uh, AJ, I don't know if you guys heard me, but I think Joe called off tomorrow. He's not coming in. I think he's just going to rest up. I think he's just fine. I think he just wants to rest up for an extra day or two. So my, from, to my knowledge, is I'm covering for him tomorrow. And then I think maybe Wednesday. But I was planning on coming in early Wednesday. So what I had heard is that he probably will be coming in Wednesday, but not until like probably working half a day, put it that way. So, I'll probably still come in early Wednesday to try to break open some of PG Platinum early. Like, maybe around 11 or so. And then I believe he'll be coming in, I think, maybe around 6, I believe. 5 or 6. And then he'll he'll kill the last couple hours for you guys. Um, so, yeah. And then, I, like I said, I think Joe's just fine. I think he's just taking an extra couple days off to kind of recharge, as he says. So, Teddy will be covering for me. I believe Tuesday and Wednesday. So. And then I'll only just do Instagram on Thursday. And that'll be my last day of of work for the week. And then again, back on Sunday, Monday. On the main channel. And I believe if everything goes smooth, it should be back to normal again. Joe, Tuesday through Saturday. So again, Joe will be coming in. Not be coming in tomorrow. And I think half of Wednesday only, if not the full night. So. I'll get you, I'll get you guys the information as I know it more. Wow. We got a one on one base. You can order them at MCSUB. You, you can do them. I'll, I'll do your blasters. What are you What are you trying to get first of all? I mean, because after this, I don't think I'm gonna do any other group breaks. Maybe the helmets, so I can squeeze in your your blasters really quick. If you want to place it, just place it and I'll do it. Right. I'll do it after this. No, AJ, I didn't get rid of it. It's actually here at the store. It's in my office where I used to break the eBay. So I haven't, I haven't taken it home. <laughs> it's just sitting here. Although I should take it home. I had it there in the office just as sometimes if we had free time. Me and Nick would usually play Madden together. JD Martinez, one of one for the Boston Red Sox. I also had it too if we had like any Madden tournaments or something crazy. Then it'd be here at the store. But yeah. I haven't played it in a little minute. I think the last time I honestly played my PS4 was like for our Christmas party. Do it, AJ. One of these times. I'll see if I can take it home this weekend. We'll check it out. Man, Fred, have yourself a break. Dennis Eckersley now for the Oakland A's. Fred just got the two right teams and the two right breaks. And out of 25, Luis Robert. Eight. Is that his jersey number two? No, he's like something else, right? Ice. I legit only play sport games. I'm not good at Call of Duty or any shooting games. I mean, I did play like GTA like when I was younger. I don't have the game, but I mean, I'll play that. I won't play any missions though. I'll just literally just mess around, but I literally don't. I don't play anything else but like Madden, 2K, the show, you know, NHL.
Hell yeah, AJ, I mess around. Rob some rob some people's money. What I used to like to do like in Vice City when I used to play like on my PS2. I used to put all the cheat codes in. So I used to just gang up on all my weapons and everything I needed. <laughs> I used to just love doing this. I used to just go up to the tallest building. Put that cheat code of five stars. So like the whole world is after me. Uh, and then and then I just like try to stay alive. Out of 150, Jose Ramirez. Cleveland. But yeah, I don't really, I haven't played any Grand Theft Auto in a long time. Wilson Contreras to 199. I mean, I honestly just don't play with my game console as much anymore. I mean, I have a Switch too, and I was into like Mario Kart and other games on it, but it's just been too busy breaking with you guys, guys. That's all. This is my my entertainment here. 34 out of 150. Colorado Rockies. Trevor Story. And Tatis. Framiel Reyes to 50. Are you right there, Matt? I don't know if you're lagging big time or you're just not paying attention. Alright, last box, guys. Or that, Mr. Mike's daddy. <laughs> Well, that's a little different, Tyler. You're just more invested into the breaks, probably. You're just so focused. Drunk on another level, you probably sometimes don't even know where you're at. Out of 99, Manny Machado. Kyle Lewis to I got Freddie Freeman to 50.
Triple Relic. Thurman Munson at 150. And Reese Hoskins, 20 out of 50. Little patch auto for the Phillies. It's Donald. And a Boba Shet. Nice case. 140 out of 150. Chris with the Blue Jays. Two Luis Roberts in the same case with a Boba Shet. Damn. This is one of the better tribute cases I've seen. Not one, but two. One is out of 25, and this one's out of 199. Chicago White Sox. Michael with that one. And we're going to end it off with a Fernando Tatis Jr. to 150. And there you go, guys. That was the break. So we have a lot of relics, but these are the autos. Luis Robert, Bel Bichette, Reese Hoskins, Contreras, Robert to 25, Eckersley, 101 JD Martinez base, Ricky Henderson, Brendan Rogers, AJ Puck, Roger Clemens to 10, Gavin Lux to 199, Max Muncy, you got a Miguel Cabrera to 50. Fernando Tatis to 99. Another Roger Clemens for the Red Sox to 15. Bobby Bradley, Max Muncy, Lance McCullers Jr., and of course all these relics and numbered cards as well that were hit. Appreciate it, guys. This was Tribute. Pick your team number nine on jazbeescasebreaks.com.